just wow. If you're a FNAF AR fan, you are eating so good today. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to a very, very special FNAF AR news video. I... I don't even know how to explain this. I think we just got what is by far the biggest and coolest thing we've ever gotten for FNAF AR. And it's coming out, hopefully, very, very, very soon. So I'm sure you've all been waiting for the fall gameplay update in FNAF AR. We've been waiting for months and months and months, and it's finally coming out this month. And today, we finally got our first proper look at what the DLC is gonna look like for the update. So even though Thanksgiving has passed, FNAF AR fans, you still got a bunch of eating to do. Also, hit the like button, subscribe, you know the deal, we're getting so close to 25k subs, boys, please. So just to catch everybody up to speed, I'm gonna quickly explain what Illumix has revealed about what the DLC is gonna be about first. Back in July, when we first heard about the DLC, they said, in respect to things you enjoyed, we know that lots of you deeply enjoyed Plush Trap and his mixed reality encounter. For things to change, we've heard your feedback on microtransactions and wanted to give you all a different option that's more like DLC or an expansion pack. With all of that considered, we've been focused on developing a whole new experience for this fall that will act like a FNAF AR expansion pack and feature multiple animatronics, plus an entirely brand new game mode. And then it took them all the way until September to say, yes, don't worry worry, you're gonna get some teasers, some clues, and details about the event soon. And then later on in September, they released a whole new post, saying the new game mode will be in both mixed and augmented reality and feature new gameplay. You'll meet some old friends and encounter a new and quite special animatronic skin. The new game mode will act like a FNAF AR expansion pack that you'll be able to purchase access for from the in-game store, so unfortunately, it is gonna cost a bit of money. There will also be a fall event for everyone to enjoy and take part in, which if you've been on FNAF AR recently, you'll know that the Dark Circus has made a return, and that kinda ties into the new update. And then in October, they revealed that yes, it is coming out in November, finally. And then they also showed off the three FNAF AR teasers we got on Daco's charity stream. You remember the ones with the key, the locked door, and the room that has a chair and a bookshelf in it. And then last week, we also got a brand new teaser, which showed off a few Admit One Circus tickets lying on the floor in the rain, it seems. There's a puddle, and in that puddle, you can see a reflection of what looks like a caravan. And people started to piece together, okay, so we got a circus caravan and some tickets. And we also have the Dark Circus Blast from the past right now. Could the DLC be connected to it? It would make sense, you know, meeting old friends and then also a new friend, bringing back the old skins from that event, and also bringing in a brand new skin, a unique skin. Which, if you don't know, there was supposed to be a fifth animatronic in the Dark Circus event. That never got added. I don't know if that's the new unique skin. We're gonna have to wait and see. And then also, earlier today, they released a brand new teaser, which showed off what seems to be a tank full of something. And you can also see a poster in the background featuring Ballora, and you can assume, okay, it's a poster based off of the Dark Circus event. And once again, pieces started to fall into place. Okay, that tank is a very common magic trick. I'm sure you guys have seen something like that. Someone's locked up in a dunk tank. You know, they have to wiggle their way out of chains and unlock locks to escape the tank. Seems like that could be what this is referencing. Now keep up, because this is where it kind of gets a bit confusing. You see, on the tickets in the last teaser, it had a few numbers and letters on the side of them, which when you put them together and including the final ticket in today's teaser, it spells out something along the lines of like, look again for two links to pull away the curtains. And the caption for today's teaser was, now you're here and the curtains have been pulled back. And so people started looking at the teaser. And what did they find? You wouldn't believe it, but two YouTube links. The first link went to a video titled, For Our Most Terrifying Act Yet. Now what did the links go to, you may ask? Maybe it's a full reveal of the new character. Maybe it's a teaser for the upcoming event. I bet none of you said maybe it's a five minute looping video of static and a bunch of random strange noises. Ah, uh, but if you did say that, you are correct. The only thing we found in the video so far is the Great Escape, which I'm guessing is probably just either the name of a skin or the DLC itself. But 
But then we get to the big boy, the final video. I don't know how people found this, but it's titled Enter the Fazbear Circus. And this is crazy because, well, just look for yourself. You recognize those? The teasers? Ringmaster Foxy. I have seen this, by the way. I just wanted to show you guys, because this is still crazy to me. You see Ballora and the Minarinas, they're all tied up. And that's been ticking down, right? It hit zero. There's the tank. See the endo on the table? There's the poster. Someone's missing from the poster. Yeah, so this video just, I mean, it's absolutely insane. I mean, who would have thought? Who would have thought? that this room led into a circus. Like what? So a few things to note. You can see the animatronics, right? The, the dark circus animatronics, namely Ringmaster Foxy and Ballora. But also look, they're tied down and they're connected to this device, which we see here, right? It's got four lights and it's ticking down. Four lights, I'm assuming based off of the four skins, right? Ringmaster Foxy, Magician Mangle, Clown Springtrap, and Ballora. And I'm assuming when that hits zero, they get unleashed and chase after us, attack us. We have to defend ourselves. I don't know. Right, there it is again. And then we get this room with all the posters, right? You recognize these? These are like the, uh, the, uh, reveal posters for the animatronics. You see Ballora over here? Again, tied down. Look at the strings. The min arenas as well. One. Zero. And then we get this room. Again, the tank. I'm assuming that's where the unique skin is gonna be. I don't know for sure. Also, this looks like an endo hand, like an endoskeleton's hand. And then we get the poster, right? You see Ballora, Ringmaster Foxy. Interestingly enough, you don't actually see Clown Springtrap nor Magician Mangle. So I don't know if they're actually in the DLC, right? It, it's weird that they're out of the poster as well. So the DLC could just be Ballora and Ringmaster Foxy. And then again, whoever the unique skin in the middle is. It's worth noting that it's not an actual character, right? That's coming in December, Lumix said. So everything they've been teasing and whatever this character is in the center isn't a new character. It's just gonna be a unique skin. Again, what it is, I honestly don't know at this point. I think it would be interesting if it was the secret fifth character that was gonna be in the uh, Dark Circus event. And now I think that's everything. I don't imagine there being another secret video since I feel like this is a good video to like, right, you found all the secrets, here's the full reveal of the DLC before it releases. Uh, speaking of release, I don't know when it's coming out, they haven't said anything yet. I imagine since everyone's found all the videos that they will make an announcement soon, hopefully, because they did say it's coming this month, in November. And they've only got so many days left. So I imagine sometime soon they'll make a tweet or a post saying, all right, you found all the secrets, congratulations, now welcome to the festival with a release date and a release time and probably a bit more detail on what you do in the DLC, what it's all about. I'm honestly excited. I think if the DLC looks in game what it looks like in the video, I will be very, very happy because as much as I honestly do not like FNAF AR, and how Illumix has handled the game. Like, this just looks insane, you know? This this all looks crazy. So it, it has me very intrigued, right? I really hope we can get it soon because I, I really want to explore what this is all about. Well, that's gonna do it for this quick FNAF AR news update video. Tell me, what do you think about the DLC in the comments down below? Are you gonna buy it? Are you interested in it? And I'd say most importantly, do you think this will save FNAF AR? With Security Breach coming up and FNAF AR kind of dying out, I don't know how much longer it's going to last. So tell me what you think in the comments down below. Again, hit the like button, subscribe, because I will be playing it on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.